Hello everyone, this is Ethan Lee from Think Academy Singapore. Now, there are only 10 days before the Nemo Special Round, which will be held at August 1st. So, we are going to use these 10 days to talk about 10 different notch points, which is beyond the first round level, but is necessary for the special round, as we have done before. So, this is the first day, and we are going to talk about the algebra in number theory. So, at first round, we merely learn number theory questions just like a natural number is the factor of another natural number. It's about numbers, right? But in special round, however, sometimes we are going to face some formulas. Maybe a formula is a factor of another formula. Yeah, maybe a fraction should be a whole number. Or maybe we need to change a formula into the product of several different formulas and then use the prime factorism to solve the problem. So there are many different types of questions, and in Nemo's, we are going to see two types of questions today. So the first question is the 2015 Nemo Special Round question. It's a five-point question, and it's about to change the formula into a production using the calculation formula. So yeah, here it, the question tells us the sum of several old numbers, 23, 25, to the 2k minus 1 is equal to a perfect square, the square of m. So k and m are integers, and k is larger than 30. Actually, yeah, before this question, yeah, the original question has given us more information. It's about the calculation formula that if we add up all old numbers starting from 1, such like 1, 3, 5, till 2k minus 1. So there are k different old numbers. The sum of it would be the square of k, the square of the amount of number. So this can be easily proved when we use the fraction to calculate the sum of the arithmetic sequence. Okay. So how can we use this formula to solve the problem? First of all, yeah, let's look at this, the left. Yeah, the left is the sum of several old numbers, but it's not starting from 1. So maybe we can change it by adding 1, 3, 5, and the missing 21st here. Then again, the original formula, like this. Of course, now the first part is the add up. Then we should minus the add up to keep the equation satisfied, right? So, yeah, we use it to minus the 1, 3, 5, yeah, to keep the sum unchanged. So, this equation yeah, will also be equal to the square of m, right? Then, on the left side, this two part can all be changed into the square of numbers by using the formula above. So, yeah, for the first part, so there are k different old numbers, so it will equal to the square of k. And for the second part, there are 11 different old numbers, so it will, will be equal to the square of 11. So then we have found that the square of k minus square of 11 will be equal to the square of m. Then uh, we can change the order. When we are solving a formula, we always put the unknown numbers on the left and the actual number to the right. So then by changing it, we have the square of k minus square of m equals to the square of 11. Then we use the different, this is a different of square, right? So we use another formula to change it into k plus m times k minus m. So this is the formula of the square differences, right? And then it will be equal to the square of 11. Now, we need to 
make the square of 11 into the product of two different numbers. It can be written as 11 times 11, right? Then m should be 0, which is absolutely not correct. So then we should make it to be 1 times 121. So this is the only way except for the 11 times 11, right? And then we can find that k plus m then would be the larger one, yeah, the 121, and k minus m should be 1. So now we can find the m here by use the 121 minus 1 and divide it by 2. So m will equal to 16. Now this is the way we solve this problem. So we use merely two fractions of calculations uh, to solve the problem. One is the sum of old numbers. Another is the difference of squares. So by using the calculation formulas, we change the equation yeah, into the final way. And then we use the fraction prime factorism yeah, to divide the square of 11 into 1 times 121, then we solve the problem. So now that is the first type of question. Yeah, the second type of question is quite in a maybe secondary school ways. So it comes at 29 in Nemo special round. It's the question 9 was 4 point. So yeah, A is a whole number, then we should have this fraction is also a whole number. So we should find the value of a. We should find how many different possible values of a. So yeah, this whole number is not that accurate. It should put a maybe a positive whole number to be accurate. Okay. Also here, yeah, a positive whole number or aka a natural number, right? So now, yeah, if a fraction equals to a positive whole number, we can write it as the denominator then should be the factor of the numerator, right? And now we have a plus 23 is multiple of a minus 37. So how can we find the actual value of a? Actually, yeah, we can change the form of the right. Now we know that a minus 37 is the multiple of itself, right? So maybe we change the right part the same way as a minus 37. Now of course, now this is not equal to the original number. Maybe now we should add back the 37 and add the missing 23, right? So, yeah, to the left, to the right side, right? So we create a formula which is exactly a multiple of the left. Then, if, yeah, we know the sum of the right side is a multiple of left side. And this part, right, the a minus 37 is already a multiple of left. Then the remaining part, the 37 add 23. So this part should also be a multiple of the left. Then this is the only way to make the sum a multiple, right? So a multiple minus a multiple should also be a multiple. So then we can find a minus 37 should be the factor of 37 times 23, which is 16. So now the question becomes, how many different factors are there for 60? As we can see, 60 can be divided as the square of 2 times 3 times 5. So the number of factor is the product of 2 plus 1, 1 plus 1, 
and 1 plus 1 as there is 1, 3, and 1, 5 here, right? So this is a formula of calculating the number of factors. I think you all know this, right? And then the number of factors of 60 is 3 to 2, right? Is 12. So there are 12 different factors of 60. Then there should be 12 different values of A minus 37. And which also makes there are 12 different values of A. So here, we are facing a problem about if a formula is divisible by another formula. So the way to solve this problem is we change the numerator yeah, into a form of the actual multiple of the left yeah, of the denominator, then plus a whole number. Then the denominator should be the factor of this whole number. Then we can solve the problem. So yeah, in maybe in primary school the number theory is just about numbers, but in secondary school the the number theory will consider some of the formulas. Now in Nemo's special wrong, sometimes we can see such type of questions, so we should know how to solve it. Now that's all for today. Thank you and see you tomorrow.